artboards are separate design areas within the same document on which you can place different design elements. So you can use them for doing mock-ups like mobile device mock-ups, web page layouts, and also print page layouts too. I'm using this example of a marketing collateral uh, sample here. And all of these different uh, labels we have here are all different sized artboards. And you can see the artboard names at the top here. So I'll just show you how you can create these different artboards from scratch. So I'll do File New, and we'll set up a new document using uh, Press Ready CMYK output, a document unit of inches, and we'll pick a page size of width 5.7 and a height of 4.3. Now, most importantly in this particular dialog is this option here, and this is Create Artboard. If I check this box here, it means that when I OK the dialog, I'll create my first artboard in the document. So this first artboard is called Artboard 1. So if I just zoom out a little bit, I'll be able to create a second artboard by going to the Artboard tool, and then using these options on the context toolbar. So this size option, which is called document, means that I'm creating an artboard the same size as the artboard I created on document setup. So I just need to click insert artboard, and there's our second artboard created there. If I just zoom out a little bit more, to here, I just want to switch snapping on here, to show you an interesting snapping behavior with artboards because what I can do here is I can create additional artboards, not by using the options on the context toolbar, but instead using the tool to drag across the page to size my artboard to the dimensions I want. I'll just leave that roughly like that and I'll reposition it. And then I'll just change its uh, dimensions to be precise, 3.5 and 2.4. I'll be able to duplicate it using a Command J or a Control J on Windows and just drag down the duplicated artboard a little bit further down and then do a command J again and just drag down. So we have our three new artboards of exactly the same size. Going back to the artboard tool, we'll just explore some of the other options on this uh, size drop down. If we choose selection, means that I'm inserting a new artboard based on the size of that selection that was made previously. So you'll find that there will be another artboard under there. In addition to that, if we just jump back to the original sample and we select the uh, content, this uh, uh, content for Nmark, uh, and we just copy the contents there and we go back to our new example and I've just paste on the page there, just bring that up to here, and go back to the artboard tool. Because we can select uh, size as selection, I can create the artboard from that pasted content. And you can see the artboard created there. Any artboard being an object, when it's selected, can take uh, exact measurements. So I can change this down to 2.5. And I can go back uh, and paste some contents. Copy that and paste it into here. We can start building up our artboard content. Some other options on the artboard tools context toolbar, as well as document and selection, are a range of mobile device sizes for Apple devices. So you can do uh, device mockups. Uh, as well as mockups for phones um, 
and Apple Watches, etc.